Frédéric François Chopin was a Polish composer and virtuoso pianist of the Romantic era, who wrote primarily for solo piano. Chopin was born on March 1, 1810 in Zelazowa Wola, 46 kilometers, 29 miles, west of Warsaw. A child prodigy, he completed his musical education and composed his earlier works in Warsaw before leaving Poland at the age of 20, less than a month before the outbreak of the November 1830 uprising. At 21, he settled in Paris. Thereafter, in the last 18 years of his life, he gave only 30 public performances, preferring the more intimate atmosphere of the salon. He supported himself by selling his compositions and by giving piano lessons, for which he was in high demand. Chopin formed a friendship with Franz Liszt and was admired by many of his other musical contemporaries, including Robert Schumann. In 1835, Chopin obtained French citizenship. After a failed engagement to Maria Wodzinska from 1836 to 1837, he maintained an often troubled relationship with the French writer Amantine Dupin, known by her pen name, George Sand. A brief and unhappy visit to Majorca with Sand in 1838-39 would prove one of his most productive periods of composition. In his final years, he was supported financially by his admirer, Jane Sterling, who also arranged for him to visit Scotland in 1848. For most of his life, Chopin was in poor health. About how Chopin died, little is known. He died in Paris in 1849 at the age of 39, probably of pericarditis, aggravated by tuberculosis. All of Chopin's compositions include the piano. Most are for solo piano though he also wrote two piano concertos, a few chamber pieces, and some 19 songs set to Polish lyrics. His piano writing was technically demanding and expanded the limits of the instrument. His own performances were noted for their nuance and sensitivity. Chopin invented the concept of the instrumental ballade. His major piano works also include mazurkas, waltzes, nocturnes, polonaises, etudes, impromptus, scherzos, preludes and sonatas, some published only posthumously. Among the influences on his style of composition were Polish folk music, the classical tradition of J.S. Bach, Mozart and Schubert, and the atmosphere of the Paris salons, of which he was a frequent guest. His innovations in style, harmony, and musical form, and his association of music with nationalism, were influential throughout and after the late Romantic period. Chopin's music, his status as one of music's earliest superstars, his indirect association with political insurrection, his high-profile love life, and his early death have made him a leading symbol of the Romantic era. His works remain popular, and he has been the subject of numerous films and biographies of varying historical fidelity. With his health further deteriorating, Chopin desired to have a family member with him. In June 1849, his sister, Ludvika, came to Paris with her husband and daughter. And in September, supported by a loan from Jane Sterling, he took an apartment at Plaquet Vendôme 12. After the 15th of October, when his condition took a marked turn for the worse, only a handful of his closest friends remained with him. Although Verdot remarked sardonically that all the grand Parisian ladies considered it derigueur to faint in his room. Some of his friends provided music at his request. Among them, Pataka sang, and Franchom played the cello. Chopin bequeathed his unfinished notes on a piano tuition method, Proyet de Methode, to Alkin for completion. On the 17th of October, after midnight, the physician leaned over him and asked whether he was suffering greatly. No longer, he replied. He died a few minutes before two o'clock in the morning. Those present at the deathbed appear to have included his sister Ludvika, Princess Marcelina Czartoryska, Sand's daughter Solange, and his close friend Thomas Albrecht. Later that morning, Solange's husband Clesinger made Chopin's death mask and a cast of his left hand. The funeral, held at the Church of the Madeleine in Paris, was delayed almost two weeks until the 30th of October. Entrance was restricted to ticket holders, as many people were expected to attend. Over 3,000 people arrived without invitations from as far as London, Berlin, and Vienna, and were excluded. 
Mozart's Requiem was sung at the funeral. The soloists were the soprano Jean Anais Castellan, the mezzo-soprano Pauline Verdot, the tenor Alexis Dupont, and the bass Luigi Loblash. Chopin's Preludes No. 4 in E minor and No. 6 in B minor were also played. The organist at the funeral was Luis Lafabure Valley. The funeral procession to Perry Lachaise Cemetery, which included Chopin's sister Ludvika, was led by the aged Prince Adam Chartoriska. The pallbearers included Delacroix, Franchome, and Camille Pleil. At the graveside, the funeral march from Chopin's Piano Sonata No. 2 was played in Reber's instrumentation. Chopin's tombstone, featuring the muse of music, Euterpe, weeping over a broken lyre, was designed and sculpted by Clesinger. The expenses of the funeral monument, amounting to 5,000 francs, were covered by Jane Sterling, who also paid for the return of the composer's sister, Ludvika, to Warsaw. As requested by Chopin, Ludvika took his heart, which had been removed by his doctor, Jean Cruvelier, and preserved in alcohol in a vase, back to Poland in 1850. She also took a collection of 200 letters from Sand to Chopin. After 1851, these were returned to Sand, who destroyed them. Chopin's disease and the cause of his death have been a matter of discussion. His death certificate gave the cause of death as tuberculosis, and his physician, Cruvelier, was then the leading French authority on this disease. Other possibilities that have been advanced have included cystic fibrosis, cirrhosis, and alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. A visual examination of Chopin's preserved heart, the jar was not opened, conducted in 2014 and first published in the American Journal of Medicine in 2017, suggested that the likely cause of his death was a rare case of pericarditis caused by complications of chronic tuberculosis.